Hey everyone, it's us once again. Uh, we are the J Girls from RWJ Cow Chats. <laughs> it's a lovely, lovely day. Spring mixing with cold weather. I can't even describe it. <laughs> My room was freezing when I woke up. But anyway, it is a lovely day. Thank goodness the sun is shining and we are here once again to tell you about us and our house rules. I guess it has been a journey and um, I'm excited about today because at last I've gotten to the top of a mountain of my house rules. <laughs> hey. Hey. Now, before we climb the last steps onto the mountain, remind us what are the house rules we've done. Think before you act. Uh huh. Stop S S C K. Uh huh. Respect. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. Responsibility. Uh-huh. Words. Uh-huh. Hugs. Uh-huh. Um, Sorry, please, thank you. We did last week. Uh-huh. Um, Walk away. Walk away, yeah. yeah. Forgiveness. Yeah. Um, unity. unity. Honesty. And honesty. Honesty. Uh, yeah. Have you done respect? Have you said respect? Yeah. Uh, we have said respect. Yeah. So... We have um, climbed up to 11 steps on our house rooms and today we are taking the 12th, the biggest one. And we don't need to announce it because it's written all about us. <laughs> and the biggest step is love. love. <laughs> the biggest step is love. And come to think about it, hmm, who can love? <laughs> it's very hard it's very hard who can truly love is very hard but we are happy and we are glad that love covered every other house room because with love you can do any other thing let's start with love you can think before you are because with love you love. can stop with love you can be honest with love you can take responsibility with love you can forgive with love, you can fight for unity. With you love, you can hard. hug. <laughs> With love, you can walk away. With love, you can say please, sorry, thank you. And with love, you we can, can respect. We can respect. Come to think about that. Remaining one. With love, you can take. Oh, yeah. Anyway, there's something. Responsibility. With love, you can do everything. How about coming back? as we discuss what it means to really love. We are back after the short break. Welcome. We Our topic today, as we've announced, is love. Love. <laughs> love. Love, love, love. You gotta be love, love, love. You gotta be love, love, love. You gotta be love, love, love. Now I will start with girls. What is not love? Uh, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what is not love, little day? Not loving is is not walking away and keeping or um arguing. Ah, not loving is keeping arguing. Not forgiving. Not forgiving is not loving. You know. Anything that you do and you don't act is not love. <laughs> so love is not, oh, I love you. I love you. I love you in the morning. I love you in the night. I love you in the afternoon and every other day. <laughs> love is everything you do and you can back it up with an action. Do we agree? We agree. We do agree. And so we are going to look at the slides we have today, various quotes about love. Uh, this time around, we are focusing it on family because there are different aspects of love. There is love relationships. There is love as workers. There is love. There's love that like glue sticks the family together. Oh, so we are talking about love as a family. We are talking about love as uh, a community. There can be love for your country. 
there can be love for the flag in fact some people love pets and love animals in fact i found somebody that loved the bridge and married the bridge so i don't know whether that's love but <laughs> Why in the context? Oh my goodness! But in the context of what we are talking today, we are describing love for the family because house rules. We are dealing with the house rules, so we are we are narrowing it down to love as a family. So uh, the first slide we have talks about love is not only something you feel. This is something you do. Exactly. By David Wilkerson. I was reading a book by him wow. last night. Wow. Oh gosh. Uh, it says love is not something you feel. Love is something you do. And we define love as action. Love is not words. So kids, anybody can come to you and say, I love you, I love you, I love you. But if it's not backed up by the action of real love, is that love? Yeah. No. No so we've established a fact love is by action can you tell me love by action what do we mean by love by action give me an example of love like by action respecting it's like all the house rules you've done so all of them squashed together it's like doing all the house rules squashed together that is love perfect perfect example so guys take off all the house rules we've done together crush it together and you do it love. that's, <laughs> that's love, love. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it's an ingredient to a uh, dough. It's an ingredient to a dough. So a that's cake. another good to describe a it. Cake, so yeah. a cake. So like we have we have a cake, the family, you know, and then when we add respect, we add responsibility, we add everything, and the, the icing on the cake is oh, wow. love. And the whole oh, cake is love. There was a song that I used to listen to when you're a toddler. Um, What's yeah. the name of the song? Uh, yeah, da 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 Okay, and stir all around. All around. As That's some joy, joy and laughter. You make a bubbly sound. <laughs> anyway, so that is a a totally totally childhood age song that we learned about family and love and offering a gift of uh, love. And so it's very important that we know the context of love is by action and all our house rule is action based none of our house rule is silent based none of our house rule is words it's action based and so love is what you do and not what you feel so you can feel the excitement and when somebody says i love you you just have goose pimples oh calm down <laughs> it's it's a way out all that we way out don't confuse love with passion don't confuse love with lust because lust would always take from you and not give to you but what love does eh? l-u-s-t l-u-s-t is different from l-o-v-e lust is <laughs> lust is is provocative is passionate is is you know it's confusing it takes from you but never gives you the real thing lust is for a season love is eternal it's forever all right so the next slide yeah so family is made with chaos <laughs> i know what they mean anyway we know what they mean a family is made up of chaos and love so it's made up of bad times and it's made up of good, good times so it's not just about oh, i love you i love you everything is just perfect no nope, or everything is just yeah, yeah. But there are times that we are on the high mountain. Remember the song I sang about two weeks ago? I'm not going to sing it again today. Do, do, sola, la, do, oh, do, yeah. sola. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Family is where life begins and love never ends. Yeah. That is very true. Life begins in a family and love never ends. In the context of a family, love is the ever living fountain that keeps springing up and brings that joy that harmony and that perfect thing together bj life takes you to unexpected places but love brings you hope yeah 
as home. So you can go to places, you can travel, you can go for jobs, you can go for competitions, you can, in fact, sometimes you can go to prison, like we said, family is filled with chaos. You can go to bad places and come back as far as there is love that will welcome you back home. That's how <laughs> you can go to a dungeon and you can go and walk. What is she talking about? What is she all about? Anyway, <laughs> you would always come back to family where there is love. Lisa Jane. Who should be an anchor, a fortune storm, a refuge, a happy place in which to dwell, a place where we are, are loved and where we can go? Tell us, what does that mean? Home is where, home should be an anchor. Home is an anchor. Have you seen an anchor before? Yeah. The yes, anchor holds the ship. Actually. The ship, okay. So it says home is an anchor. So home is the anchor holding the ship as a porter and as a refuge, a happy place to dwell, a place where we are loved. So home is an anchor that oh, sure you feel safe. Perfect. so a place where you can feel safe a place where you can run to a place where is a refuge from the storm a place where you can be happy a place where you can dwell so you've had a very stormy heavy day at work at school people have bullied you at school when you come home there's a place where you find love it's like being in the water with no anchor to hold on to. Exactly. That's a belief. But now when you have that anchor, when you get back home, because you are loved there and you can also love others, that's where your home is. Now we need to also remember that when we talked about unity and forgiveness in the previous episode, we made people to understand that a family is not necessarily your blood you know blood you don't, is not always thicker yeah blood. blood is not always thicker than water so a family is not necessarily blood connection but a family can be a group of people where you can find that love where you can you also can express genuine love to them big j so much of what is best in us is bound up in love of our family that it remains the measure of our stability because it measures our sense of loyalty what does that mean well, it means that a lot of like um things you do what you're good at comes from your family mm -hmm. um and it keeps you stable and also i guess tests your loyalty exactly and so when you find people that are unstable outside in school in places of work you can always signal that a sense of instability in their home there's a sense of something missing in their home which is love when people begin to manifest or do things you know today i had the sad news of two teenage girls 13 and 15 year old that went out to steal a car and they ended up killing a 62 year old uh, man in in the US and I pondered a lot on my bed this morning and I just imagined if those two girls had love genuine love in their home it would have measured the kind of stability they would have had in the society and it would have given them a sense of loyalty to respect others to be loyal to their family not to end up as chiefs ah home is very important the love you have in a family is very important because it gives a sense of stability now a lot of social workers can confirm that when they meet children in school that are going through phases most of the time it is because there is instability in the home do you agree most of the time they don't have any sense of loyalty they are not loyal to anyone or nobody's loyal to them and so parents we create vacuum in our children's life when we cannot give them the sense of love they need in the home which can bind them together and give them the measure of stability that is needed to grow up to be healthy children in the society ah so parents it just goes beyond giving birth to children the responsibility of parents starts from the day the child is born what do you give them do you give them a sense of stability do you give them a measure for them to give back the loyalty that you provided for them a food for thought for me as a parent and for all the parents out there mm -hmm. really what's that ah <laughs> ah okay dj 
Memories of friendships and relationships may fade away, but the love that you receive from your family is one that will never go away. You will always remember your family members, even long after they are gone. And that's why it's important to keep good relationships with your family members. Yeah. Friendships and memories of friendships will fade away. The friendships I had in primary school, I struggling with the memories, I can't remember them. The ones I had in secondary school, I think I can remember very well too now. But all this have slightly faded away. But family, <laughs> you would always remember the good, the bad and the ugly. And how amazing if what you remember about your family members is the love you share. For me personally, the love I share with my mom if you wake me up in the dream i can tell even in my dream i can still express my love for my mom because we shared a bond that was extraordinarily super and so um i can't forget her a memory can't fade is evergreen i remember the way she laughs i remember the way she cries i remember the way she walks i remember the way she smiles I remember, I, I remember every single day. I remember the way she cooks. I remember the way she washes clothes. It's very annoying when my mom is washing clothes. <laughs> my mom can wash her clothes one million times. I'll be like, oh my God, leave the clothes alone. <laughs> you know, those moments I can't forget. And sometimes I keep telling myself, I can't wash clothes the way this woman wash clothes. <laughs> I can never do that. But it's amazing the things we watch our parents do and all those memories make up who we are. Long after she's gone for 18 years, our memories are fresh in my head. It's just because of the love and the bond we share together. Little J, next one. Family, a little bit of crazy, mm -hmm. a little bit of wow, and a whole lot oh wow does that happen wow. here oh, yes. <laughs> lots of crazy, lots of a lot of crazy in my house <laughs> and a lot of crazy and a lot of loud in fact i drive them yesterday night i said both of you get out of get get out of my place anymore. <laughs> it was too loud oh my god i have a friend that we call together that we talk together oh, oh yes. my god <laughs> when we're on the phone i feel sorry for the lord but my <laughs> lovely friend the the house is like <laughs> vibrating with the noise something else and the, the leader of the gang is a three-year-old girl and i'm like oh my god how do you cope a bit of noise a bit of craze but i will tell you there are lots of love in that family they share a lovely bond and so that is the way family should be. A lot of love in spite of the cry, in spite of the craze, and in spite of the noise. Happiness is having a large, loving, close-knit family in another city. So just describing happiness. Yes. <laughs> so let's put joy there. Having a close-knit family gives you a sense of joy because joy lasts. Happiness might necessarily not last. But joy lasts longer because let me describe let me explain why happiness happiness is temporal happiness is based on the circumstances or joy everlasting it's, it's not just everlasting Be joy is not based on the circumstance so you don't have to feel good but you can have joy you understand it doesn't matter if situation if the family is rocking and there is a storm or there's something terrible happening you can still have joy but when something terrible happening you necessarily are not happy so we have to make sure that we define what it is okay little j being a family means you are part of something very wonderful it means that you will love and be loved for the rest of the world no, no matter, matter what, what. <laughs> that's a book you read and then that's exactly so a, a family love is unconditional i know there are some families that um seems that there's a lot of rancor and there's a lot of disagreement but to be fair if anything really happens in that family you would know that you matter somehow somehow there would be a sense of reconciliation at the end of the day because you will be loved for the rest of your life because you are part of that family huh vj our family is a circle of strength and love founded on faith joined in love kept by god together forever <laughs> so no, let's break down this cheese let's break down this cheese a family is a circle so it's a circle of love and strength founded on a 
feet, joined by love, and kept by God, God together, together forever. forever. <laughs> I'm trying to draw it in my head because first of all, it's a circle. Love and strength and love. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. I get it. The mm -hmm. circle is made of strength and love uh -huh. and love and God. And mm -hmm. together. It's together forever. Family is together forever. <laughs> Family is together forever. Enjoying life strength. So that love. means that if there's no love, if there's no fate, the fate that keeps you going, that when, when one of the family members disappoints you, you can have the strength to forgive them and love again. So is that that means you have a measure of that fate to keep going on to love again, to love again, and to love again. Because you need strength to love sometimes, especially when you have difficult family members. <laughs> you need all the strength to love them. You need all the faith to believe that they won't disappoint you the next time. And if we just, if you're religious like us and we keep it under the umbrella of God, be together forever and ever, and, and ever, and, and ever, and ever. And ever, and ever, ever. and ever. <laughs> having somewhere to go is home. Having someone to love is family. Having both is a blessing. blessing. <laughs> and having one of them too is a blessing. Yeah. Having somewhere to go is a blessing. Too. Having somewhere to go is a blessing. For those of you that are living alone, you have somewhere to. There's a lot of people that are homeless and they don't have anywhere to go. But having somewhere to go is a blessing. And then adding someone to love when you get to the house is a double blessing. I know a lot of us have double blessings, but for those that have single blessings, just enjoy it and be thankful for it because there are a lot of people that don't have that single blessing you have. Little Jane. We leave home to find fortune and treasure. We return home to share it with our family. Yay! For those of you that go to a far away distance, I have some of my friends that their family members are walking far away, thousands of miles far away from them. But imagine what happens every time they come back home. Ah, oh, yo, 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 there'll be a party, there'll be a celebration. Somebody comes to my mind right now. If you're watching it, I know who you are. <laughs> yeah. 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 There'll be celebration when they ready return home. And that's what love and family is. In spite of fortunes and treasures, the most important thing is the love that binds you together as a family. Home is where you are loved the most and act the worst. <laughs> ah! <Yes. laughs> ah! Tell me, tell me why, why did you say yes? I know I act the worst at home because I'm not always embarrassed to act the same. <laughs> she said she acts the worst at home because she's not always embarrassed. Is that, is that true to you? Well, act the silliest. They act the silliest. Sometimes when they act to me, I'll ask them, do you do this to your teachers in school? <laughs> because I'm like, what? What is becoming of this? I mean, because they know that in a home, they will be loved and forgiven no matter what they do. But in school, when you act out in school, it is recorded. You are given a splat, you are given warnings. In fact, sometimes you are locked in a separate room if you are extremely bad behavior. But when you come home, you know that that is where you are loved and you can act the worst. Please, I beg you, don't act the worst at all. Please don't act the worst. Don't, 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 don't act the worst. I can't take it. Please. All right. So, but it's interesting that. That is so true. Big J, who love you? Oh, that's what people do who love you. They put their arms around you and <laughs> love you when you're not so lovable. <laughs> is that true? Yes. Ah, ah. Yes. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes when these girls are not lovable, I, when they go to bed, I'll now go to their room and look at them on the bed and say, ah, in spite of what you did today, I love you, Sha. <laughs> <I love> <laughs> I will add the Sha to it. Ah, I love you, Sha. <laughs> anyway, because we can always put hands around ourselves and still love them in spite of what they've done. Ah, love is a very hard thing to do. <laughs> we must be honest about it, but we have to do it because love is action, it's not words. Big J. The love in our family flows strong and deep. 
leaving us memories to treasure and exactly i just described me and my mom the love we shared was so strong and deep that i have memories to treasure and keep every single day of my life do you have <laughs> memories you share <laughs> When I'm not dead, yeah, yes, I, yes. I remember when I was a on the tree. Oh, you did? I was looking at all my baby pictures. We yes. did? You were pushing me in the, in the old bucky. Oh, that is interesting. You have a lot of memories. So, you have a lot of memories to share as you go. That's very beautiful. If you want to change the world, go home and love your, your family. <laughs> yeah, we've been talking about that from the previous topic. Because if you don't have unity at home, how do you want to have unity in the place of work? How do you want to promote unity in school? If you don't have forgiveness at home, how do you want to do it? So whatever change you want to bring in the world, it needs to start from your family. If you want to love the world, if you want to make the world a better place, it starts from your family. The reason why the world is in a state it is today is because there is selfishness and there is self-centeredness and there is everything sick in the family structure. And so it spreads. It's like a virus. Talking about coronavirus, <laughs> we have a virus destroying the world. And it's even faster than corona. It's faster than corona. That virus is hate. That virus is jealousy. The virus is envy. The virus is anything that is not love. But if we want to make a change, let's start from our home. Little Jay. Being a family means you're a part of something very wonderful. It means that you will be loved and be loved for the rest. Ah, so being a family means you are part of something very wonderful. What does that mean? You are loved, you will be loved for the rest, the rest of, your, of life. your life. And you can also love. So don't expect love because sometimes we expect love from others, but do we really give it? Because we cannot give what we don't have. So if you really don't love, you can't love others. It's just not it's not always hugging. It's not always just hugging and kissing. You can do it in other actions too. <laughs> so, so remember for the rest of your life you will be loved you be loved you be loved you know the meaning of my name is actually beloved oh you be loved you be loved i love for the rest of your life okay so big j in family life, love is the oil that eases friction, mm -hmm. the cement that binds closer together, mm -hmm. and the music that brings harmony. Oh, I remember this. We looked at this before. We used yeah, that exactly. before, but because at that point, what were we looking at? Can you remember what we were looking at? Unity. Unity. Yeah. yeah. So, but now we are looking at it from the context of love. Love is the oil. So when there's friction in the home, Put a cup of love. <laughs> That's it. Friction. Friction, love. Friction, love. Friction, love. And so. Friction is hate and envy and. Yeah, friction is disagreement, arguments, and all that. Maybe and for love. both of you, who is going to clean the dishes? Yeah. Had a bit of love. Always, yeah. Mr. J. Always. <laughs> and then we find out who is going to do it. I sustain myself with the love, love of family, family, Maya Angelou's. I really love this quote. Sometimes people commit suicide because they don't have love of family. Sometimes people end careers and end their life. But even when everything is down, if you have something, if you have that anchor, you can hold on to that anchor is your family. Hold on to it. Okay, I'm holding oh on. There's, there's also friends. Friends is like an anchor. Friends, friends can also, also be an anchor. Friends can also love. In fact, there are some friends that are closer than families. So let's not forget that. Hmm? Yeah. Some friends are closer than brother. a brother. A brother. Big J. Family teaches you to love without holding back. It shows you how important it is to accept people and the differences we have, no matter how hard it is. Yeah. That is just straightforward. What does that mean? It means that family is the ultimate teacher. One of the ultimate teachers. There are a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so family is your main teacher in life. It teaches you to love without holding back. It teaches you the importance of accepting people. Ah! <laughs> 
Is it easy to accept no. each other? No. No, no. no it's, it's but it's teaching you to accept people and the differences we have, no matter how hard it is. Is that not true? Both of you are different. Yeah. yeah. We, when, before we started this program, I remember Jeremy upstairs and me. Now he's getting like clothes on. Yeah. So <laughs> this morning they have differences. You know, one came down. Why is she eating without bathing? The other one came down. Why is it? Ah, my track! Come on, get, get, get. Why did she bath? I mean, no. but they have the differences. But family teaches you to accept each other, no matter how the differences are. For me, he teaches me to accept both of them, no matter their differences, because I need to love them equally. And sometimes it's they feel that oh, they are not loved equally. But to be honest, their differences are so glaring that you almost want to choose one over an other in different situations. Oh, but right. love, but love helps you that no matter the differences, you love them equally. That's what love is. Uh, little J. Family being loved, no, no matter, matter what. what. So that's the same thing the one we just did before. Is saying no matter what, love. family is being loved. Affirmations for family. Let's see this. I see my family through the eyes of love. love. Now we need to. You need to be saying this affirmation every day to your family. I see my family through the eyes, eyes of love. love. I peacefully let go of past thoughts and feelings that no longer serve me. I am grateful for every member of my family. family. All family. the relationships in my life are blessed with healing, healing. Love. love. So this is a very important affirmative quote for the family. And you'll be surprised that each of those standards cannot happen without genuine love. You can't see someone through eyes of love without love. Without love. Mm -hmm. Doesn't work. You can't have you can't live peacefully with your thoughts without love. You can't be grateful without love. And you can't see every relationship in your life as a blessing without, without love. 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 <laughs> love is included in everything. Okay. It didn't matter how big our house was. It mattered that there was love. Oh. Even though we have a tiny house. Even if we have one bedroom house, it doesn't even matter. Even if we have a hut. Even if we have a hut, and even if we have a mansion, it doesn't matter. Even so if we have like twenty what? bedroom mansion, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the most, it doesn't matter. The most important thing is love. the love we share. Yeah. So there are some people that have big houses and, and some of, of them love. even have a swimming pool inside their house. Yes, and it's empty of love. It's making it make any it doesn't make any difference. But even if you have a house, a 20 room house, and it doesn't have love, it doesn't make any difference. It's important that love is the foundation of your home. I hope that's important to you and you understand that. Big J. You can kiss your family and friends goodbye and, <laughs> <laughs> and, put, and put miles between you. But at the same time, you carry them with you in your heart, <laughs> your mind, your stomach. <laughs> because you do not just live in a world, but a world lives in you. Oh, so everywhere I leave these girls and I drop Big J in school, Big J lives in me until she comes back. <laughs> Always remember that <laughs> when I drop you in school, then you are living, you are living in us until you come back. Don't always, don't always, don't always, you are living in us. So we can kiss her goodbye every morning when we leave her to go to school because we leave her to go to school. <laughs> but at the same time, we carry her in our mind and in our stomach because we don't just live in the world. They, we are the world. You know, yeah, the world became us. I remember when the first time I posted about Big J on Facebook, and the first thing I said, Wow, she has come to change my world. That was one of the first few quotes I wrote about her. Oh, and indeed, like, <laughs> like a thunderbolt, she has changed my world. It's always good. <laughs> <Wow>. Whatever. <laughs> They have come to change my world and they are my world and they are my blessings and i'm grateful for them every day love your family be thankful thoughtful be kind to yourself slow down 
Spend time outside. Spend time outside. Really? Uh -oh. Give, <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Give uh -oh. others your time. Be patient. Listen more than you speak. Fish mouth. Uh -oh. Hey. <laughs> Make, Make time, time for play. play. <laughs> okay. Like Look at that. These are the things we need to remember as a family. And the ones that I'm not doing very well, I need to think about it's it. But I won't tell you. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell, don't tell anybody. <laughs> but, <laughs> so this one, I need to work on some of them. Ah! Ah! This woman. Ay! Ay! <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! Okay, Big Jerry, read the last one. A family stitched together with love seldom wrapped. It doesn't come in. It doesn't shake, it doesn't scatter, it doesn't rip because love is a glue, like Little J says. Love is like the stitch. A stitch, like a glue. It's so you find it them. Stuck it's stuck. Love. Stuck with love. love you can't, you can can't. You? Okay. Can you try to pull it apart, Jack? No, I can't. Stop. So, I think the next question is. Does love, love bind, bind you together? together? So, as a family, does love bind you together? Very big question for me to take away as a parent and for the girls to take away as they relate to themselves and relate to me. Is it love that really binds us together or is what you want and what you want to take? No. Hmm. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is it, is it, is it what you want? Is, are you after the moment thing? Are you after the instant tea and coffee? The lust, the passion, the take and not the give. Because it's important that we are givers at home of love. It's the more you give, the more, more you get. receive. Yeah, so we always have to remember that. And so, everybody, we've been discussing our house rules and today we finally come to the top of a mountain which is love and hopefully we have an interesting topic or we'll summarize all our house rules next week for those that have never attended before and uh on this note we want to say thank you for joining us keep love at the center of your home and everything will work out perfectly and so bonus quote it, love it always protect, always trust, always hope, and always perseveres. Bye. We love you, and we hope to see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.